I wanted to get into something a little bit serious, which okay. I know you know nothing about. You're like, okay, what are you going to hit me with? But this is this is kind of a what, serious my, topic. My new 80s hair? No, your new 80s hair? My old new 80s hair? No, I, okay. I, 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 I love your hairstyle. I do all the time, but you know. <laughs> uh, but something serious. Okay. I'll something, it's kind of serious. Now, serious I, I want everybody, though. when you get a chance, uh, Monica Alderana, who was on the Angel Torres Life Changing Solution show, which is blowing up right now yeah. because she uh, is a victim and a survivor of a horrific domestic violence situation. Okay. And for the first time, she told us, told the world about it. She's a Mrs. Downtown Las Vegas. Came on the show and for the first time told the world about it. Oh, my. Uh, you can go on Angie Torres' page, Life Change Solutions page. I think it's on my page. I'm trying to share it around. Uh, I know as she was on segment one, so it's right there. And uh, I wish I, I, I was here and I, you know, I watched the whole show and it's just riveting what this uh, lady has gone through. Okay. Um, amazing. Um, you know, that there's, you know, I understand anger, anger management because I suffer from it myself. Um, I know what triggers it. I, I know more about it than most people. Mm -hmm. So I know why it happens and how it happens. But at the same time, the, the, her situation was something even I could not even... I can't, I can't, I can't go there mentally because I just can't see how that happens. But how people can be that way. But the question I wanted to ask her, and Monica, one of these days maybe we'll have you back on the show and you can answer this yourself. Now that she's out of this situation, she's remarried and she's, we presume, extremely happy, new man, new life, great. Does she have a responsibility to warn others? As a victim of a crime? No. Her ex was a oh, batterer. To warn Okay, not just some guy that, 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 you know, oh, you just wouldn't shut up, so he put your head up against the wall. Not that pro type of thing. He's a batterer. Mm -hmm. And guys like that are born that way. You don't teach that. Does she have a responsibility to, like, he's dating someone new. Obviously, she don't know. So, is it her responsibility? Is it your responsibility? Is it a woman's responsibility when a situation like that is to like, you know, before you get wrapped up in this relationship, I need to tell you this. Is it, what, what would you do? What do you do? Well, number one, there's, there's, there's. That's a tough question. It huh? is a tough question. Number one, I would be curious to know whether or not she pressed charges against her battering husband right. at the time because if that is the case then he should have a record right and I've got to say to all of the ladies and gentlemen out there we are in a golden age of technology right where for a very small amount of money background checks can be run right and it is the responsibility of the individual who might be coupling up with a new person do some asking around, run a background check. I mean, you're not going to hire someone without checking references, mm -hmm. but are you going to get into a relationship, get into bed, move in with someone without being smart? Um, her responsibility to run around and tell every person, I know. I do not think it's her responsibility to do that. If she has pressed charges, if she has testified against him and she did what mm -hmm. she needed to do, it's her job to make sure that she's safe. Okay. Now, being proactive and chasing after this ex, putting herself in harm's way, and being in the position where, you know, you look like sour grapes, oh, that's my crazy ex-wife, right. you know, whatever kind of thing. And quite frankly, it's sad for me to say this, but I'm going to say this, so I guess, you know, make myself a target for the um, haters out there. But the type of people, the type of women that are attracted to those controlling, potentially abusive, mm -hmm. they seem to be the types that are, man, you can have it in huge billboards, stay away from this guy. Right. Oh, you know, not to me. It won't happen to me. Or it won't happen again. He was it just, again. it was my fault. I pissed him off and wouldn't shut up and blah, blah, yep. blah. Yep. Okay. So I've, I've got, I've got a very minor similar situation because mm -hmm. I kind of played with that myself. Let me tell you the situation that I had. All right. Had an ex-boyfriend. Okay. I'm going, not going to get specific at all. I'm so, not going to ask what year because nope, then I'll know who it you is. You won't know. Um, that this, re the relationship that I had um, got to the verge of violence. Okay. And I ended the relationship 
and it, it got to you know it was threatened violence I didn't actually get hit I got threatened to get hit with right. the back of my hair and fist up and drunk and I should, I'm gonna punch your teeth out okay and I realized okay no more so fast forward a year after we had broken up and I get a Facebook message from a lady right that wanted to know is this person that you dated a good guy so I battled with this question because okay, you were on the spot. Was, what was my responsibility in this? Right. Okay. And this is what I told her. <laughs> I told her, um, you need to trust your instinct. And if you're asking questions about a person, if your instinct is telling you that you need to track down ex-girlfriends mm -hmm. and ask whether or not this person is a good guy, I just recommend that you that's a red Follow flag in itself. Your guts. To me, it was a, 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 an obvious, you know, hey, girl, watch, you know, listen to your gut. And <laughs> she messaged back, thank you so much. I just wanted to know. But she took it as because I didn't say, yeah, he's a he's a bastard. And when mm -hmm. he starts drinking Jack Daniels and if get you, out of the room. Yeah. If, if you have, you know, anything to, you know, he's a jealous person, um, you know, be warned. Because I didn't say that. She's like, oh, thank you so much. Well, guess who's dating now? So I've seen mm. them now on Facebook dating. And I just have to stand back and think, you know what? And here's the sick part. Here's the sick part when you're in a relationship like that. I wonder, well, she looks happy. Maybe it was me. Maybe it was things That's that I did that made too. him jealous. That Not that I deserve to be threatened, to be punched right. in the teeth. But maybe she's just low-key enough and not out there in the public eye or as touchy-feely as I am. Touchy feeling. I doubt it. Okay. I, I expect. You know, it's it just an interesting way. question, which brings another thing to mind. I only got another minute of this is how has social media played into this 50, 40, 30 years ago when you broke up? That was kind of it. If you lived on the other side of town, you literally crossed, never crossed paths. So mm -hmm. now yep. it's. Oh, you can, you can see what your ex is. Yeah. It's just a mess. You can find out, but I, I don't, I don't think the way to find out about someone is to go to an ex and ask them. It puts everybody in a bad situation. It turns in he said, she said. Right. And again, the type of people that that are looking for an excuse. If you have a feeling about someone that God. something is wrong, I mean, do it. I wish it. we had more time because you know the, you know, we had a situation here at the White House where. Some guy punched a gal in the face 10 years ago. She took a picture of the black eye. The picture comes out 10 years later. He's in a relationship with this other lady, and she's like, whoa, what is that? And then that's all. It all imploded. Uh, it's, just, it's just a real sticky, dicey situation. I'm just going to talk to the men here. Women, you have plenty of support. I know all about, I know all about anger management. I know what happens. If you are in a position where you can get triggered, because I know it's not what people say, it's when they say it and how it's said that triggers you. If you have a trigger and it's tough, top, close to the surface, you need to get help because it's a no-win situation and people get hurt. Okay, that's it for this segment. We'll be back with Jerry Zimmerly of Focus Plumbing. Oh, rock on. This is my favorite segment of the month. We'll be back.